Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are reviewing Ransport, the new simulator that came out finally for everyone in open beta just a few weeks ago. I want to download it, add time to, to download this uh, and to watch some videos. I finally downloaded it uh, and so I can uh, really test for the first time, um, I just did 10-15 laps before this recording, so we will jump in a time trial. Uh, for example, here at Nurburgring, we want to choose a GT3 BMW, and I really gonna focus on difference with of grip between GT3 and GT4 that I don't think is really realistic because. I tried the course, I tried the course of competition, I tried race room with the GT3s, GT4s. Uh, I don't think this is very, uh, very realistic. Basically, the you can drive the GT3s. You know, I never tried these GT3s, GT3s, but you can already feel a bit. Turn one, we go. You know, to, to, to be honest, this is the only. No, I just say it. Uh, it's a bit undrivable. I don't know maybe how to drive the GT3s on this game obviously But you know I could drive them on other racing simulators such as Assetto Corsa Competizione So I don't know how they're so unstable I don't think it's really my driver uh, driver's fault The thing I hate of this game The thing I hate of this simulator Is that Is the for force feedback uh, Is is the first feedback. Uh, why? Because I don't feel it's really, you know, I can't feel much of the car, I can't understand much of the car, I tried to change some values but nothing really changed. I don't feel a lot so I'm not saying it's like driving without first feedback but we're near to it to be honest. And so it's a thing that I, that no one's like to be honest. Look for example in these long fast corners. How much less grip you have uh, and I will obviously because you are faster. But I don't think it's really realistic from with this car is less. Look at that. We're gonna choose the GT4 uh, of the same BMW so we can really compare them to the amount of grip and you will find a small but it's a big difference if we will burst some other models of cars such as Porsche or other models of car uh, like an Audi uh, as well G GT4 and GT3 so I just wanted to try the BMWs you can feel already from this you can do this corner as well as you possibly can Look at, I, I go wide, but all the grip I have. Oof. For example, you touch the curb. I, I believe, guys, believe me, it's much more grip with the GT3s. And we, and, and the GT4s are, are, are like, are such undrivable, to be honest. But the thing I want to focus a lot, that, that I didn't try, because, okay, the time trial, understanding a bit the game, but I want to try some, for example, Races we can go with this Honda. Why not? And why not an Okenheim? Maybe we can do Monza, which is not bad. We can do Spa, maybe not. Daytona, also Fuji. Where you, you know, we have a lot of not a lot of trucks. Uh, obviously, they are already selling some uh, some trucks. So I will go for Monza to be honest. And the thing is that is this is a glitch. You, you hit enter and it's not going, so you have to go back and then you can start. <sighs> Let's go. Let's try to find to find how this um, how this AI is uh, how fast uh, obviously, but it's not the main thing. But how uh, how it race basically? No, it's not uh, an AI, really. There's no AI there. Oh, I I need to change this. We can change this. So we're gonna go in multiplayer. I think it's these. Not leaks. I don't feel like these. 
you can register for some races and then join I don't think it's the best thing uh, you know it's okay so we can only do time trials we will do time trials we I want to try some different tracks obviously we're gonna hit Daytona and, do, and start the time trial Okay. So Daytona, Daytona, uh, where it is, I think it's a uh, Honda, yeah? So basically, I think this game, the simulator, sorry, has to improve a lot, I'm sorry for this. So Daytona, yeah, basically with this Honda, so the thing is this simulator has to improve has to improve a lot has to improve a lot in terms of physics probably but in terms of for speed back in particular let me know your thoughts in the comments of how you're, you're feeling uh, the force feedback uh, and how do you rate the game please yeah let me know in the comments and drop a like and subscribe to the channel also for more videos like this Oof. yeah there are damages here okay this car is not bad to drive to be honest now the first feedback is a bit better in this car but i can't be precise i can't really feel what he's saying i can feel only the the asphalt maybe uh that is a bit uh you know you know, that is not the best uh, so I I can feel all the bumps that's what I wanted to say but not a lot in terms of really driving when we are we're so bad I can't understand how to drive in this game to be honest because as as I said I already drove this type of cars in some other simulators and they are pretty much all the same why is this different for transport one of the main problems of this uh, of this title is that is the UI as I said before it's impossible to navigate on on screens basically on all over the tops I start not crash I start not die I really love this ship on the video like here Okay. I mean, I love to cut it. Oops. Yeah, also, I think there are too much things on screen like can cancel current, max lap. You know, you can't really. Obviously, you can customize it, I think. But yeah, you, you can't really. Mm. Oh, it's not turning. Let's try some different tracks here, different cars. For example, the Fuji. Or maybe no, we will try Hockenheim oh, Ring to be honest for the last And we will do, we will go with the uh, Let's have a look at some cars here Let's go with this Beautiful car Let's start the time trial uh, One of the main problems of Racerum as well is that There aren't lots of people so line Even now that the, the beta is open So you can't really uh, You know, drive, drive a lot online and there is no AI so electric I want to change the the visual to be honest no. not here so, so let's go in this beautiful circuit with this beautiful car let's see how will it be not bad for a moment I don't really know where to Customize setup is if we can. Not if. I really hope so. Wow, that's crazy for speed back. Oh. It's so bad, guys. Oh, the first feedback is the 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 full Logitech G29 first feedback. It's horrible to drive with this first feedback. Wow. Yeah, the curves are so powerful. Don't take them in this game. We well, did good and spun on the exit curb and the grass.
every time I do some more gas, it spawns. It's very difficult to understand. I don't know if it's good or bad, but I think it's a bit difficult. But I, I really want to know where to do the setup, to be honest. In the option, there are no setups. If we restart time trial, we don't have oh, anything, I think. It's nothing clickable. So we don't have setups basically. We can't do our own customized setups. This is mm, very bad, very bad. We will have a look at more uh, improvements, obviously more patches, but the main thing to fix is the force feedback in my uh, opinion. So. So guys, I really suggest you to download and try for yourself. Let me know in the comment what do you think of this simulator. Uh, you know, is a beta, so but I think let let me know if you think also the issue uh, or if you have the issue of the no really force feedback uh, uh, feelings depends obviously on on the steering wheel uh, as well. But I'm not really enjoying this part I think they have to optimize the graphics as well because they're not doing a lot of FPS's with obviously the record open but with not a lot of graphic settings in the game I have like medium settings uh, and I uh, you know I stream for example F123 now now with damage for the F124 um, I stream with no problems so that's uh, on medium quality so that's uh, a thing that, that they want to change obviously is a beta so uh, for this video was all guys please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and as always it's been a pleasure cheers